Hello everyone, this is Stephen Dempsey. A fundamental technique in photo editing is masking. Affinity Photo's elegant design makes it easier than ever to do work with masks. But first, what is a mask? On a very basic level, a mask has two functions. It either shows or hides something. So let's start with a simple example. Here I have a document with one layer. The layer contains a photograph. I'm going to add another layer, and we'll do that by going to the plus icon and choosing Fill Layer. This is nothing more than a layer that's been filled with a solid color. This new layer sits above our photo, and as a result, the photo layer is now concealed. Let's add a mask to the color layer by going to the plus icon again and choosing Mask Layer. Now we can see that a mask has been added to the color layer. But nothing has changed. Let's explore why. When a mask is created, it's white. In the world of masks, white means that that particular layer is fully visible or opaque. White is like an instruction to the mask that tells it to show everything on the layer. Let's take a look at the mask by clicking on the circle with the three dots to go to the layer options. To see the mask only, click on Solo. We can clearly see that the mask is, in fact, white. From this view, I can click on the Flood Fill tool and choose the color black from the Color Studio. When I click in the middle of the document, it fills the mask with black. Returning for a moment to the world of masks, and remember that white means that a layer is visible. If we choose the opposite to white, which is black, it instructs the mask to make the layer invisible. Wherever black appears in the mask, the layer will be hidden. Let's go back to the layer studio and see what's changed. You can see in the mask thumbnail image that it's now black. You might also notice that the fill color layer is hidden and we can see the layer beneath, which is our photo. So a white mask will make the layer visible and a black mask will make it invisible. An easy way to remember this is white reveals and black conceals. The real power of masks is being able to apply them selectively. So let's take a look at what I mean. If we go back to our example and select the mask, remember, we just set it to black so it's invisible, and that's why we can't see the fill color layer. Let's select the brush tool and make sure it's set to white. We'll choose a large size so you can see what's going on. If I paint on the photo, all of a sudden, the color of the top fill layer is revealed. It can get confusing when you've chosen a white color for the brush, but the color you are painting is not white. When you paint on a mask, it behaves differently than when you paint on a regular layer. For instance, if I select the photo layer and paint with the brush, the color is not the same. It's actually white. That's because this is not a mask layer, and white will just be plain old white. I'll go to the bottom right here and select the left arrow to undo. So you can see how it can be quite powerful to paint with white or black on a mask to either show or hide the layer it's on. So what happens if we want to reveal the layer at a 50% opacity? Remembering that black hides the layer and white reveals it. The colors between black and white are varying shades of gray. If you mix 50% black and 50% white, you get what's called middle gray. This will be the same as a 50% opacity on our mask. Let's choose that color from the context menu below. Click on the color swatch and choose gray slider. It's easier to choose gray using this slider. You can either use the slider or click directly on it to reveal the calculator. And here we can choose 50. Now if we paint with our brush, the fill layer will be revealed by an opacity of 50%. If I increase that percentage, more of the layer will show. And if I decrease it, less of the layer will show. It's like a volume control for the opacity. Adjustments are probably the most common thing you'll use when editing a photo. They will allow you to change the tones, brightness, contrast, colors, and so on. Let's delete this fill and its mask and apply a black and white adjustment. Whenever you apply an adjustment, and this is really important to understand, it has its own mask built in. You don't have to create one. It's already there. 
When you first apply the adjustment, its mask is white. And if you remember, white reveals what's on the layer. So it makes sense that you can see the adjustment right away. So let's make sure our black and white adjustment layer is selected and go to the paintbrush tool and choose black. Black on a mask will hide it. And because we're choosing a brush, we will be able to hide only the parts we paint on. As you can see, the color of the photo is coming through. We are concealing the black and white adjustment with our black paint strokes. If we change the color of our brush to white and paint again, it will restore the black and white adjustment. White reveals. Whether you're working on landscapes, architecture, portraits, or any type of photography for that matter, selectively applying adjustments and filters will give you much more control over your final image. I hope this was helpful. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing in general, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.